welcome to all my children to the very first session of our treasure trove poem lesson number 1 i hope that in between these days you might have prepared for the arrangement to learn our treasure trove prats as it is not possible very easy to understand and also not easy to teach through this particular mode of uh, teaching i try my uh, best level to make you understand at least the uh, summary of the particular part so here you see on the screen the first chapter the first lesson of our poem tashato poem the heart of the tree the heart of the tree as you see the heading the heading is different from all other poem that we have learned up to now the heart of the tree has been written the american poet and novelist henry culler bunner it's a fine piece of poetry with a simple theme and a simple structure as you know planting a tree is always a great work for the mankind but the poet has found out very new ways to look at the plants and plantation in his poem the heart of the tree the poet glorifies the act further shows how a tree helps life on earth and says that it has a direct connection to a nation's growth all the three stanzas that you will see hereafter with a refrain with the poet asking what the man actually plants who plants a tree that he chooses to replay it by himself and shows what a tree means to the human kind and to the nature thus proving how great that man is the further points and important content of the poem we are going to begin so here you see what does he plants who plants a tree he plants a friend of sun and sky he plants the flag of breeze free the shaft of beauty towering high he plants a home to heaven eh eh? for song and mother crown of birth in hushed and happy to light her the trouble of heaven has many these things he plants who plants a tree so he plants grows a birds and aims to reach the sun and sky so it is as if the sun and the sky get a new friend in a tree and secondly the tree needs sunlight and air to survive and the tree seems to absorb the heat and save the earth from the scorching sun giving an implication that the sun becomes friendly in the presence of the tree here the speaker now adds that the man plants a flag that flies freely in the mild breeze the poet here compares the leafy branches of the tree to a flag and stem to the beautiful shaft that is pole of the flag that stands tall by planting a tree 
the man plants a home for the sweet swinging birds high in the sky near the heaven so he keeps the earth habitable for birds and helps in maintaining the ecosystem in the entire first stanza of this poem that is of the heart of the tree the poet accentuates the importance of tree in maintaining the holistic beauty of the nature moreover the use of words like heaven and i heaven's harmony and towering high is aimed at giving an impression that the work of planting a tree is indeed a heavenly and glorious deed the finishing line of the stanza forms a logical wall with the opening line one asking a question and the other completing the answer so the, these things he plants who plants a tree so my dear children as it is a long stanzas we are going to bind up here as a first session the next rest of the lines will be discussed in the next session thank you